there is always something going on at our country house. And by something, I mean a lot of work. Tommy is always taking care of some flowers, like these marigolds for example, which is amazing because then it looks very beautiful around us. And when it's not enough, we can always plant more and look forward to next seasons with colorful expectations. It's always quite exciting seeing the fruits of our labor in the garden. We have these special roses here with very big rose hips. In English apparently they are called the apple roses because the fruits are so big. And I'm going to pick them and in my head <laughs> there is this idea that I should attempt to make a rose hip gem. It wasn't easy last year, but I haven't tried from these big rose hips, so let's go and we'll see. It goes easy and it should be quite fast because the fruits are so big. Ten minutes went by and I have quite a lot of them. I am satisfied with this amount, so let's get to the kitchen. I need to cut these things off, these ones. We don't want that in the jam. <laughs> so this is quite time consuming. After a lot of minutes, the rose hips are ready. I need to pour water in here and we will cook them for half an hour or so. They swim here in the water. They are taking a bath. But soon this will be hot springs. <laughs> so let's go. After half an hour it looks like this. The rose hips are cooked and they are soft now. That is the point. We want to have them soft. And now I'm going to blend them with this immersion blender. <laughs> After blending, it looks like this. It's a thick sauce and there are a lot of seeds in there. And we want to get rid of them. We have this new thing, which I'm really looking forward to. It's a vegetable meal or food meal, rose hip meal <laughs> in our case. And the seeds should stay there and the liquid should go into this pot, but we haven't tried it yet, so this is our premiere and let's go. This will be messy. <laughs> How much should I put in there? I don't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's dripping everywhere. Oh my god, it looks like it's going. I need to hold this, but it's doing something. Yeah, something's dripping down there. Yes. Oh. Is it difficult? Yes. Is it maybe it's the seeds getting yes. in there? Yes, probably. A few minutes later, look at my strong honeybee. <laughs> so, Tommy had to take over. He couldn't watch anymore. My pathetic attempt. <laughs> How is it going? Just like from the edge. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of seeds here. Mm -hmm. There um, are. Maybe it's so... empty or something. Okay. So far, we've been lazy about emptying the seeds, but 
It looks like it has to be done. It's working so well. I am removing the seeds now and almost all the sauce is there. Yeah. The seeds are quite dry. I am really happy about this. So thanks to you guys who suggested to us last year to buy this device. Yes. We don't need the big spoon. I just pour it here now. It goes so fast. Such a great device for this. Yeah. It was much better than when we tried last year with the regular roasted, right? Yeah. We were pouring it through a strainer and it was taking forever. So this is so much faster. Yeah. Look how dry the seeds are. Almost no sauce left. It looks like risotto or something. <laughs> yeah, it does. So we are done here. We can remove this. And this is almost our jam. Now I'm going to add sugar. I don't know how much. So <laughs> up to your taste. This is our taste. We'll see. I need to taste it and then when I'm satisfied, that's it. But we don't want to add too much because you guys always recommend making jams. But we don't eat jams because we prefer fresh fruits, you know, in their natural form and in jams, in all these delicacies there is added sugar so we always feel a bit worse than eating natural fruits that's why we don't make much jam and stuff like that but rose hips you can't eat on their own so this is like one of few forms where you can eat rose hips you can also make rose hip Tea, but that's basically it. So this needs to be done with at least a bit of sugar. Let me taste this. I've been blowing for like two minutes because it's so hot. But now it should be a nice temperature. Mm -hmm. It's quite sweet not overwhelmingly sweet and I think it's ready and we will pour this into these glasses everything is prepared so let's go and one glass of jam is done just to be sure and now I have to turn it upside down so everything is sterilized this is the way and we have this much jam now it looks like rose hip sauce I would say because it's quite liquidy but once it cools down it should get thicker but we don't really care about the consistency, so we can call it rosehip jam because it's ours and we name it because these are our babies. <laughs> <laughs> There's way more, more of it than last year. Yes, and it was faster, so yay! finally finished mowing the meadow. It's about two months later than I originally wanted, <laughs> but we either never had time or there were no conditions for it because it was rainy and it was wet and I couldn't. And then it became too hard because 
uh, you know, the grass and the flowers were too tall and it was too thick. So it took forever, but it's done. And now it looks again like a lawn. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't think I will mow it until the end of the year. So there's only one more mowing, maybe in October or November. So we will have another chance uh, for the meadow to grow up and flower. And we will see next year. We will probably do something similar again uh, because it was a nice experience and we enjoyed having the meadow here. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens now. I'm curious if new flowers will appear or just the grass will get tall or something but we re really loved having the meadow because it was new and it was more something that belongs to a natural garden yeah Here we have another successful harvest. So many blackberries. Oh my god, this is a lot. And here goji berries and a few raspberries, which is amazing as well. Not only we have these goji berries, which are very rich, the shrub is very full of berries, yeah. but they are not very tasty. We have one shrub here. This is a different variety and there are green ones, not ready yet, but this is the reason why we are here. This is also a different variety, it's called Golden, right? Uh -huh. And they are so much bigger. Let me pick this one just to compare. Look, it looks uh -huh, wow. so different and they are like... I wouldn't even know that it's a goji berry uh -huh, uh -huh. if I saw that like picked already, yeah. not on the plant. So these ones are not very tasty, the red ones. Bitter. Bitter, bitter aftertaste. But these ones, look at it, and I've already tasted a few and it's completely sweet, it's yummy, so yeah. Sadly, there are only a few of them, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to coming years. It will be great. Yeah, we will leave this one for birds, probably, and we will just eat these. Yes, so let me taste another one. <laughs> oh, yum, it's so good. I wasn't happy with goji berries because of the taste, but now I'm really looking forward to this. This is exciting. Our first peaches ever <laughs> from the tree that we planted. It's always an amazing feeling. So let me pick them because they look amazing. There are three of them. Some of them <laughs> fell down and we had them already. So we know they are delicious. But these ones are the first ones we pick of the tree. So look at the beauty. Oh my god. It looks ripe. It is ripe, I am sure. And here, the second one. Can you see it? Hopefully yes, no. because it's a beauty. Uh -huh, yeah, I can see it now. Let me pick it. Ta-da! And we have a third one. Wow. Here is the third one. And that's it for this year. <laughs> But it's so amazing. Wow, absolutely love them. I just wanted to show you because this is amazing. Always when it's from the trees that we planted, it's wow. And peaches to us are so exclusive. Mm -hmm. It's not like apples or pears or yeah, plums. Exactly. So, yay. Here are the peaches and they look perfect. They do, wow. So show us your reaction to our peaches. Mm. 
so juicy and sweet. They are definitely ripe. Very delicious. Yay. Mm. Oh my god, I am so excited when I think of our peaches. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm picking our tomatoes. There are a lot of them. A lot of them are cherry tomatoes, so these smaller ones, but they are tastier. They are more concentrated, the flavor is. And we really like them. There are also these interesting purple ones. The top part is purple and the bottom is at first green. And once they are ripe, the bottom turns red like normal tomatoes and the top is more black than purple when they are ripe so it's interesting but i noticed some bugs really like them and a lot of the ripe ones are eaten by these bugs so <laughs> i don't know these must be really tasty but oh well that's nature in the end a very nice harvest for today I really like it. Once tomatoes start bearing fruits, there is no stopping them. And there is always so many of them. Yesterday I made ketchup, which was really exciting. And it's quite easy. You just take a lot of tomatoes, some peppers and onions as well, so there is more flavor. And then you add spices and apple vinegar and salt. I was cooking it for 90 minutes on a pan and then you add sugar, you put everything through a food mill and voila, ketchup is done and the taste is amazing. I'm always so happy when something turns out good <laughs> because that's not always the case, of course. When I experiment in the kitchen, the results are sometimes questionable. But this ketchup, wow, very yummy. So I am so happy about that. You make me nervous. I think I might be hooked on you. A lot of things you said, you said to me, to me, it seems like you like me too. Can't take it slow, make sure we do this right. Cancelled all my plans to be with you tonight. Tonight. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building chemistry. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next. Tell me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think, we were meant to be. This is our harvest from today. What do we have here, honey? Where should I start? Here. So that's plums. Mm -hmm. These ones are the sweet ones from the tree that's here in the yard, right next to us. Yep, and they keep falling down on the ground, so we just keep picking them and eating them, and they are delicious. Yes, they are the best plums we have here on the property. <laughs> here, what is this? We have two cucumbers. These are salad cucumbers. And we already harvested two before, so this is number three and four. And it's the first time we have them in our garden. Yes. For the first time, I harvested eggplants. Here, patty pan squashes. Here a few potatoes just to like display them, but, yeah, but we have more here. Yes, and what are these potatoes? These are actually potatoes that grew on our property on their own from our last year's harvest because we didn't harvest all of them, obviously. So these are for free. Yeah, here we have three lettuce. I picked the ugliest ones <laughs> <laughs> because we want to start with them. And here a lot of berries, a bit of red currants, these are the last ones. Here aronia berries with goji berries, here we have more goji berries. And here black 
what is it? Blackberries. <laughs> yeah, so many different English names. Yeah. So it's hard to remember, but it looks great, I yeah. think. Very nice. Yes. As you can see, we are always excited about our harvest and we value every little piece. Late summer and early autumn are the richest when it comes to harvesting, so the time spent in the garden is awesome. Don't forget to give us a like if you liked our video. And see you guys next time. Bye!